Have you been moisturizing your face all wrong all along? And no, my aim is not to give you another insecurity because the internet is full of it. My aim is to empower you. Who the hell am I? I'm Dr. Shireen Idris, a board certified dermatologist. I usually come to you guys from New York City, but today it is a very special edition of Pillow Talk Derm where I'm coming to you from a romantic getaway with my boo in the middle of an Indonesian jungle. We are currently in Bali where it is hot as hell and humid as balls if that makes any sense. Um, if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe below, like this video, and if you're too impatient, just let me know what you wanna learn about next week. But today we are covering the five moisturizing mistakes that I have seen, not just in my practice, but also in my personal life, because this is such a basic step that is so often overlooked because people don't take the time to understand what moisturizers are and what they're meant to do and how to approach them for you. So. Let us jump in. The five most common moisturizing mistakes that I see. Numero uno, not moisturizing for your wrong, not skin type, your environment. Everybody and their mother is taught from the age that they are born, if that's even English, to moisturize based on your skin type. Are you dry? Are you oily? Are you normal? What the hell is normal? Are you combination skin? And the reality is, we all fall on some sort of spectrum when it comes to this, but our skin is a living, breathing organ. And the way it responds to life and to your environment dictates how it acts. So dry skin in a dry climate is not the same thing as dry skin in a humid environment. And here is a picture of my face in Utah when my eyes nearly blew out of my head because my skin was so dry versus my face, a dry skin in a very humid environment. And the reality is dry skin is not dry skin across the board. Neither is oily skin. Oily skin is not created equal across the board. And moisturizing for just your skin type without taking your environment into consideration is probably the biggest mistake that I see people make. So to simplify matters, I created, yes, yours truly created this and I was very proud, the moisturizing pyramid. Starting with at the top. Yes, the top because they need the least oily skin in a humid environment. These people just need sunscreen. And is this sunscreen gonna be the sunscreen that I would pick for them? Probably not, because this is not gonna be good for oily skin in a humid environment. But a lightweight, light moisturizing, light hydrating sunscreen is all you need if you're oily in a humid environment. You can skip the moisturizer in the morning. But if you are oily in a dry environment, you probably want to marry some sort of gel moisturizer Notice that this is a mini size to a sunscreen. Again, these are not the sunscreens that I would pick for you, but this is an example of a gel moisturizer with a sunscreen for oily skin in a humid environment. But shifting to dry skin in a humid environment, you can probably get away with just using this depending on the level of humidity, right? But if it is a little bit less humid, you could probably add a hydrating mist before the moisturizer or the sunscreen. But if you are dry, in a very dry environment, more is more is more is more is more. And do not try to save your money on minimizing products. You're probably going to need a essence which I like to put in a mister, which then you're probably gonna need a hydrating serum followed by a moisturizer, then your sunscreen. And guess what? Sometimes it's so dry outside that you're gonna need a basic moisturizer in between. We're gonna hit on the basic moisturizer at the end of this video, so do not try to end this video now because that's probably the most important message that I have after this first message. Mistake number two is over hydrating and over moisturizing. But you might just think to yourself, wait a second, you just said more is more is more and less is not more when it comes to dry skin in a dry environment. But notice I said dry skin in a dry environment. The beauty industry has made us all believe that we need to constantly over hydrate our skin. We need to be moisturizing and adding essences and serums and mists and gel creams and thick creams and I don't know what kind of anything, kind of moisturizer, ointment, rich cream, things that exist, but they want you to constantly be layering moisture, 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 moisture. Because in the very famous words of Zoolander, 
Moisture is the essence of wetness, and wetness is the essence of beauty. So moisture away. But that is wrong, because what comes in a very moist environment? Fungus. There will be a fungus among us. Why? Because within a very moist environment, your skin barrier will break down. There is a very beautiful word that dermatologists use referring to the skin breakdown of your skin in a moist environment, and that word is macerated skin. We usually think of this word when it comes to the webs between your toes and you have a fungus brewing there, or your armpits if it's really hot and humid and there's another sort of yeast growing there. But macerated skin doesn't just apply to the dark pits of your body. An inflamed, broken skin barrier, even on a microscopic level, can still be macerated when it is overly hydrated and overly moisturized. Contrary to popular belief, you do not need to be over moisturizing your skin to the nth degree to have dewy looking skin. I actually did not over moisturize at all because I took my environment into consideration and given that I have dry skin, I didn't moisturize too much in a very humid environment. This leads me to my third point that is a mistake that you guys commonly make as well, which is not moisturizing enough. And now you're gonna tell me you've lost me. You told me to moisturize based on your skin type in your environment. Then you told me you should not over moisturize and now you're telling me you're not moisturizing enough. I'm speaking to specifically the oily folks out there. You guys have been so scared of moisturizers your whole life that you decide to skip it all together. And yes, I told you in the morning, you just need a sunscreen. You probably can find a nice lightweight, light hydrating sunscreen that you can use in the morning. But to skip it at night would be a disservice. Why? Because at night is when your skin is regenerating itself, is repairing itself, is going through that process of really helping it go through its natural cycle. Plus at night, you're probably using harsher actives like a retinol or an exfoliating acid. So to not moisturize your skin, even if you are oily at night, can lead to your skin drying out and getting irritated faster. So understanding the type of moisturizer that is ideal for your skin type is still important but don't try to overlook it completely and just avoid it because you're scared. Being scared is worse than not understanding and always try to understand before avoiding just because you're scared. Point number four, which is completely unrelated to point one, two, and three, but I'm just gonna throw it in there. Your face, neck, and chest are a cosmetic unit. Yes, we want to try to apply actives to our neck and chest, but we don't want to overlook moisturizing our neck and chest. And a lot of times we just moisturize our face and our hands and we walk out the door. But using a moisturizer that can go from your forehead down to your tits is essential, especially as we get older and we start to lose that essential hydration because we lose estrogen. I did a whole perimenopause video a few weeks ago. I'm gonna link it below. But I also did a video on crepey skin and the neck is the first area where it really starts to show. So I want you guys to please tune into that video to understand how to address the crepey skin, but moisturize from here down to here if you're gonna be moisturizing based on your environment. And last, this is the most important point after number one. Not understanding the type of moisturizer that you're using. There is a very big difference between an active moisturizer one with an active ingredient like vitamin C versus a basic moisturizer. Not basic like your basic bitch, but a basic moisturizer that is meant to just hydrate. These are two very different things. One is not better than the other, but they offer different purposes. If you are somebody who is oily, and you are in a more humid environment or dry environment, but you don't wanna to have too much moisture, focus on products that deliver the actives while still hydrating your skin. You do not need this. But if you are somebody who is dry, who needs those actives, but also needs more, focus on getting those actives that still deliver enough hydration, but layer in the moisturizing steps into your routine. This is a moisturizing serum because of the glycerin. This is an essence that I like to put into a mist to kind of make sure that my skin doesn't parch out. And then sometimes I top it all off with a simple, this is cooling because it feels nice, thick moisturizer. So the type of moisturizer that you're using 
makes a huge difference. And I like to refer to them as a basic moisturizer like this one versus an active moisturizer like this one. By the way, did you guys notice the travel size? Other examples of active moisturizers are like Eucerin's Q10 anti-wrinkle cream. It has Coenzyme Q10 to boost collagen production. Um, Beauty Stat also has a peptide moisturizer for fine lines and wrinkles, which has a blend of 22 amino acid peptides that helps your fine lines and wrinkles. So again, not all moisturizers are created equal, and that is a very, very important point. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope I did not give you a new insecurity, but instead I've empowered you to understand your skin and to really take it into control because we are not all created equal. And even if we do have dry skin, you and me, Dry skin in Indonesia is not dry skin in Utah. With that, I hope you guys have a beautiful Saturday. I will see you guys next week.